and we are very pleased to declare this week Freelance Business Week in the city of Buffalo, New York. Yes, that's right. Buffalo Freelance Week kicks off on Monday, huh? April 18 on Dingus Day. Mm -hmm. And joining us this morning on AM Buffalo, this is Marie Rochelle. Good morning. You are the Executive Director of Freelance Buffalo. It's so good to have you it's like awesome on the to show. Be here. This is so fun. Yeah, with it's Emily just... away. It's like <laughs> night. I'm like, oh good, I have a little buddy back again. <laughs> It's so awesome. So, okay, straight off the bat, what is Buffalo Freelance Week for people who so, don't know? Freelance Week is an event for freelancers by freelancers. I've actually been hosting this event since 2019, wow. and we're really excited to be back in person this year. So we have a week long full of events of sessions, networking, connection, it's just really fun. We're really just excited to be back in person and, and together again, so. That is so good. Okay, so who would sign up for something like this? So if you have a side hustle, if you aspire to have a side hustle, that's someone who would, who would want to to be here and also if you've been working for yourself for a long time it's always it's nice to go back to basics but we do have sessions that vary from from someone who's just starting out into someone who's been doing this for a long time so we have a lot of different types of sessions we have the full week posted on our website so you'll be able to check that out and see which ones intrigue you the most oh that sounds awesome i mean you grew up here in buffalo you're a western new yorker I did. I did. um and you freelance yourself i have i've been a freelancer since 2014 so over, oh. yeah pretty much a decade yeah it, it feels yeah. like that so it's really nice to be able to give back and really have a resource that i didn't have when i started because you really are on your own I suppose when you are freelancing like normally if you work for a business you know all of your rights are protected by maybe a union or maybe you know just the industry that you work in has minimum standards but when you're setting those minimum standards for yourself it can be really difficult like asking for the right amount of money yeah. and getting chasing up payment from people who might yeah. not pay you so interestingly enough there is a freelancers union they're a national organization we're actually having the CEO of the freelancers union at our closing panel on Friday the 22nd um, and we're, we're working on passing legislation in the state of New York to protect freelancers from non-payment. It's called Freelancing Isn't Free. Oh my gosh, it's a that's real law. amazing. Yeah, it's, 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 it's so important because I think a lot of people, particularly artistic freelancers, might not necessarily be good at the business side of things. And I think something like Freelance Week Buffalo is really just jam-packed with those kinds of resources to help people. It really is. You know, when you're, when you're a freelancer, you're typically really good at what you do and not so much the business side. I've always been more of a business side person that just happened to do marketing. Uh, so again, really just creating an event like this and having something where I can help provide resources that I've used myself and then also part, like, what's the word, helping it's gone. Yeah. Just distribute the knowledge that I've learned yes. over the years. <laughs> yes, that's so perfect. I mean, and on that, is there anything, as, as we wrap it up, is there anything that you would say to someone who's freelancing that you wished you knew when you started out as a freelancer? <sighs> really, to just find your people, find your community, and, and really this event is the perfect way to do that. Yeah. Oh, my God. That's amazing. Of course, if you want to find out more, just jump online, freelancebuffaloandbeyond.com. We're going to share all these details on our Facebook page, but Freelance Week happens all week, and people can just register register there, can't they? And <laughs> we have a little surprise for <laughs> you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, it's Aries this season, is... so that's awesome. I'm actually, I have Aries in my chart, so happy birthday. Oh, Everyone okay, here had is... a surprise for you. I actually wasn't expecting this, and this is awesome. And I don't want to tip this cake over, but I have to, this is so, oh, I'm going to tip, it'll tip over, but Be it's careful. like, okay. Can you see? There's a thing. <laughs> Can you see? It's got the little Aries symbol on it because I'm an Aries. I love it. I just want, oh my yeah. God, it smells so good. I so want to buy this, <laughs> but I need to take a photo of it first. You know me, you know I would just like take a big chomp out of it. Wish I had happy birthday. I'm like, I mean, we could do that. <laughs> it's a what? Oh. Oh, you know what? We've got a lot of Aries in the house. I want to say big love to Camilla and Brie, our directors. They are also Aries. So yeah, I should share this. My girlfriend Sophia's birthday too. So just throw that Happy in there. birthday to me. <laughs>